we've seen one part of this phenomenon. No, 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 no. We've had rallies with one and a half million people. There was not one incidence of violence either at the rallies or afterwards. Um, so... Looking stupid, call them uh, the Taliban. Looking stupid, call them uh, the Taliban. Looking stupid, call them uh, the Taliban. Who have been fired a Republican congressional baseball. <laughs> gunman who opened fire at a Republican congressional baseball practice yesterday. Social media pages reveal someone infuriated by President Trump in public posts. He also called Republicans stupid, called them uh, the Taliban of the U.S. Uh, his Facebook page shows he was an extreme supporter at the same time of Senator Bernie Sanders and his campaign, apparently volunteered on the senator's presidential campaign. And have you been able to verify that the shooter in this case did in fact volunteer uh, with the uh, Bernie Sanders uh, presidential campaign. Is there a chance, Jane, that you or the senator ever met with him while he was volunteering? Yeah. Any recollection at all? Yeah. Any recollection at all? Since the shooting, there's certainly been a lot of talk about the type of language that a lot of the politicians are using. Uh, I, I want to play something for you that your husband said while talking to an audience of progressives this past weekend. Then we'll discuss. Listen to this. Today in the White House, we have perhaps the worst and most dangerous president in the history of our country. With hindsight, did he, does he go too far in speaking like that about the president? Most dangerous president. Most dangerous president. Most dangerous president in the history of our country. With hindsight, did he, does he go too far in speaking like that about the president? I don't think so, Wolf. Interesting how the interesting how the New York Times uses the exact same Bernie Sanders quote, perhaps the worst, worst and most, most dangerous, dangerous president, president in the history of our country. Not once, but twice. They use the exact same quote twice in the same article. The exact same quote that Wolf Blitzer used to try to implicate Bernie Sanders in the shooting. Now listen to what Bernie Sanders was saying. Today in the White House, we have perhaps the worst and most dangerous president in the history of our country. The New York Times even noted that particular quote in the opening paragraph of the story immediately after the shooting. So Bernie says, today in the White House, we have perhaps the worst and most dangerous president in the history of our country. Did he, does he go too far in speaking like that about the president? Is that really a coincidence? Or is this a coordinated effort to blame Bernie Sanders. And of course, to blame his supporters. Did he, does he go too far in speaking like that about the president? Lock her up is right. No. And they started punching back. It was a beautiful thing. I mean, they started punching back. In the good old days, this doesn't happen because they used to treat them very, very rough. And when they protested once, you know, they would not do it again so easily. But today they walk in and they put their hand up and they put the wrong finger in the air at everybody and they get away with murder because we've become weak. We've become weak. These are the people that are destroying our country. Go home to mommy. Go home and get a job. Go home, get a job. You know, knock the crap out of him, would you? Seriously. Our country has to toughen up, folks. We have to toughen up. These people are bringing us down. Remember that. They're bringing us down. No reason for it. These people are so bad for our country, you have no idea, folks. You have no idea. They contribute nothing, nothing. They can get up, and when they're being whisked out, they can raise their bad finger up in the air. I'd like to punch him in the face, I'll tell you. Get him out. Get him out. Trouble me. 
like her. Get him out of here. What is wrong with you? Well, if you see somebody getting ready to throw a tomato, knock the crap out of him, would you? Seriously. I will pay for the legal fees, I promise. Get him out. You know, part of the problem and part of the reason it takes so long is nobody wants to hurt each other anymore, right? And they're being politically correct the way they take them out. So it takes a little bit longer. And honestly, protesters, they realize it. They realize that there are no consequences to protesting anymore. There used to be consequences. There are none anymore. So that's it. All right, thank you very much. Our perfect man. He's my perfect man, absolutely. <laughs> Everything he said is absolutely right. He's our man sent from heaven. And they, I don't know, rough up? He should have been, maybe he should have been roughed up. I would bomb the shit out of him. I'd blow up every single inch. There would be nothing left. Come on, let's go, come on. Let's go, you can go faster than that. Come on. I mentioned food stamps, and that guy who's seriously overweight went crazy. Uh, he wasn't wearing one of those hats, was he? Was he wearing one of those hats? Goodbye. Goodbye. All right, yeah, get him the hell out of here, will you, please? Get him out of here. Throw him out. Hey, where's Metro? Where's Metro? They say, I have the most loyal people. Where I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody, and I wouldn't lose any voters, okay? Every once in a while, we talk about nonviolence, right? You're surprised to hear that from Trump, aren't you? Trump's a racist! Trump's a racist! Isn't a Trump rally much more exciting than these other guys? Going to hell. Got him out. Are you from Mexico? Are you from Mexico? Huh? Are you from Mexico? Get out of here. Get out. Out! Oh, this is amazing. So much fun. I love it. I love it. We having a good time? USA. USA. Try not to hurt him. If you do, I'll defend you in court. Don't worry about it. We had four guys. They jumped on him. They were swinging and swinging. The next day, we got killed in the press. That we were too rough. Give me a break. You know, right? We don't want to be too politically correct anymore, right, folks? So disruptive. Remember when Bernie Sanders, they took the mic away from him? That's not going to happen with us, folks. That's not going to happen. Remember that? He walked away from the mic, and he stood back, and he watched these two young girls talking to the audience, and they said, we came to listen to him. And he was standing in the back as two women took the mic away. Now, that doesn't happen to us. Get that guy out of here. Get him out. Get that guy out of here. There are tons of examples where Hillary Clinton has lied to us or attempted to rob us of our precious freedom. She lied to the parents of the men killed in Benghazi. She lied about her emails. She lied about her record to create jobs in New York. And she uses words like bigot and racist to attempt to take away our religious rights. Hillary Clinton intends to further change the fabric of the country we love. Wow, that was good. Mm. I've always been a no good, rotten, disgusting scoundrel. Crooked Hillary Clinton. Oh, she's crooked, folks. She's crooked as a three dollar bill. Sign on, sign on, sign on with the devil. Sign on with the devil. And, and I'll tell you what, I didn't think I'd say this, but I'm going to say it, and I hate to say it, but if I win, I am going to instruct my attorney general to get a special prosecutor to look into your situation, because there has never been so many lies, so much deception, there has never been anything like it. It's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. You know what? I've been saying, I've been saying, let's just beat her on November 8th. But you know what? Well, no. 
You know what? I'm starting to agree with you, I'll tell you. Tired, tired of saying. I don't have to be so nice anymore. I'm taking the gloves off, right? Yes? Take the gloves. Take the gloves. We have very stupid people in our country negotiating for us, and we have leaders that don't know what they're doing. And the media, look at all those people back there. Scavengers, they're like scavengers. The truth is, he lives in the world of the make-believe, in my opinion, and even the fact that he became president is the world of the make-believe, how this happened. I don't, I don't, I don't know. No, let me, I don't know. No, let me, I don't know. No, let me just say something. I, 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 this is Hillary Clinton's agenda to, to release the violent criminals from jail. She wants them all released. You heard the other night, this maniac, Sanders, and then Hillary keeps going, yes, yes, I'll do that too. Yes, yes. They want to raise your taxes to 90%. 90%. Hillary Clinton is going to raise your taxes very substantially, possibly to 55 or 60%. That is going to be the end. She's going to raise your taxes. And you know what? Obama is unwilling or unable to show his birth certificate. He had lousy marks in school, and he got into Harvard on a scholarship. Explain that one. Well, Bill Ayers was a bad guy. He was a real terrorist, a real bad guy. Well, he was Obama's best friend. By the way, Obama dropped all of his best friends. Hurting this country, folks. Hurting this country. Big mouth. Big, big mouth. Big mouth. Big mouth. I could have said, Mitt, drop to your knees. He would have dropped to his knees. He was begging. One of the great sleazebags of our time. Stop it. This socialist slash communist, okay, nobody wants to say it. It's one of the greatest scams in the history of politics and in the history period. You are not allowed to be a president if you're not born in this country. He may not have been born in this country. And I'll tell you what, three weeks ago I thought he was born in this country. Right now I have some real doubts. He has pulled one of the great cons in the history of politics. Crooked Hillary. She was the worst secretary of state in the history of our nation. We have perhaps the worst and most dangerous president in the history of our country. With hindsight, did he, does he go too far?